What is going on, my lovely ladies and gentlemen of the world? We're starting off with a doozy today. I don't know. Pardon me while I adjust the microphone. It's probably going to make a little bit of noise. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen this particular mirror match. I'm sure it ran rampant back in the day. Uh, you know, when it was just Merkava, Gordo, Waldstein everywhere. But now, not so much. Not many Merkava players are left, even though the character's still very, very good. And just as frustrating as ever to fight. Man, it's just, I've never, I'm kind of surprised that I've never really seen this. Ooh, damn, I didn't actually know you could combo that off of an LTG. Wow, that was... I actually really like that combo. Damn! Why don't I play Mercado? Like, real talk for a second. Ask yourself, as an individual, as a person, why don't you play Mercado? There are two correct answers here, I feel. The first one, because I'm a Seth player and he's better. All right, I got you. Number two, because I'm not an asshole. Other than that, why aren't you playing Merkava? This dude is so goddamn good. It still kind of twists my mind up a little bit though, that like, in his actual, what you know, when he's fighting and stuff, all he is is just guttural noises, very monstrous, very animalistic. And then you get into his story mode, and he's like, Hey, by the way, I'm telepathic and very intelligent, and I understand, like, a little... Well, what's the word that I'm looking for? Shit, I can't think of it. Whatever, doesn't matter. Let's watch this match. Let's watch this dude trying to chop at ankles and making it work. They both have 200 meter. Unfortunately, he just gave up. Uh, the first player just gave up grid and just got grid broken. Oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> I wonder if he tried to do something afterwards. I wonder how fast that actually is. I don't actually even know. Like, what is that a command grab? I don't think it is. I don't think Rakana has. A super command crab, but I I don't actually know. I am ignorant to many things in this game. The blocks. Unfortunately, his attempt to counter it. Oh wow! I wonder what he tried to do off of that. Maybe just an attempted whiff punish gone wrong. Oh no! Oh no! The stare down. Finally got some mix-up at the very end. The empty jump throw, I like it, was dirty enough to do it again, but good tech. Ooh, got the frame trap. It's a start. Zunis, man. This is one of the games. Wow! The balls! He just teched. I want you to understand this. He didn't just tech and then throw, right? That's a, that's a common thing that a lot of people do, whether they're trying to catch you because they know that, you know, maybe your setups aren't that tight or whatever. Maybe they're trying to tech a throw, it doesn't matter, but it is a decently common reaction to teching is to then throw tech afterwards. This man teched, dashed forward, confident enough that he dashed forward and then threw. That is one of the ballsiest things I've ever seen in my life. But yeah, that's, um, it's very... I would hesitate to say there is another game that is, uh... Like, if you're basically running a perfect on somebody, and then the other person, like, is getting the perfect ran on them, they have, like, 10% of their health left, and then they get a hit? I can't really think of a game that it's more likely that you're actually, that you still are in the match and can come back. <coughs> oh my god, I did not know that was a combo. Because the obvious thought that springs to mind would be Marvel vs. Capcom 3 thanks to X-Factor. But both players have that available to them, you know? And so if you do, I don't know. I wonder if he tried to counter. 
Man, that's a brutal hit to get counter hit by. He did it again, and then he hit the overhead. Oh, no. That was the force function, right? Am I recognizing things properly? I mean, it kind of had to be the force function, because as you guys told me, charge 5C is not an overhead for Hyde. That's actually kind of dirty, because that move hits very, very meaty. Has a lot of active frames to it. So it's kind of unavoidable and it re requires, when moves are that meaty, they have that many active frames, it requires pretty precise attempts at reversals if you are going to attempt to do that. But it wouldn't actually surprise me. It depends on hitboxes. Um, Cause sometimes when characters stick out a limb like that, their hurt box will extend with it. And sometimes it doesn't actually extend all the way with the leg. And so what I was thinking about is like that might actually be at a distance where Akatsuki's uh, reversal wouldn't actually hit because because oh, Akatsuki's reversal kind of it, it has a little bit of a diagonal trajectory, but overall it mostly is just directly in front of him just ran into the projectile he just wanted it to end You're like fuck this i don't give a shit about fighting this character end it i don't blame him he's scared of him on wake up i guess he was concerned about a wake up super or something oh no this gordo is not particularly good at keeping track of projectiles that are on the screen luckily for him the seth is dropping a lot of shit too Woke up with, uh, you can't you can't wake up uh, Grim Reaper. It has no invulnerability. Wait, is he dead? Please, God, no. This, this no, right? Right, no, right? Thank God. goodness it is it really hurts to see because I, I feel like it's a fairly obvious comparison can we i'm gonna i'm going to spoil this one everybody close your eyes close your eyes i'm gonna spoil the win loss nope we're not watching it wait this is another seth close your eyes again oh it kept showing it we're not watching this one either <laughs> I don't want to see Seth taking names. I want to see him get beaten black and blue. His costume's already black and blue, make his skin match it. But no, he just always wins because the character's busted. Like I was going to say, it feels like it's a fairly obvious comparison to compare him to Chip, right? It's that similar character archetype that generally exists in fighting games. Very much a glass cannon, right? But at least with Chip, you have to be in the corner for him to go ham on you and have the obscene mix-up that exists within his gameplay. Seth doesn't give a fuck. Mid-screen, corner, his back to the corner, he doesn't care. He is going to terrorize you. And that's, it just feels too easy. That was weird. And by all rights, Photon should have eaten a lot of shit for completely missing that charge to air normal. But she got away with it, now she has the corner. And Chaos is... I'm just about to say, he has no reversal options, has no real defensive options, but he's just gonna jump right out, <laughs> and Photon's gonna... I can't, I don't know if that was just luck, bad spacing by the Phonon, I don't know, but he barely avoided everything of Phonon's force function, and uh, ran it all the way back. Just that one moment, that one moment was all it took, and Phonon just went from full health, all kinds of control over the match, everything you could hope and dream for, in terms of your positioning, where your opponent's at, resources, everything. It was just a dream come true, and then Chaos just so happened to jump forward, and that was enough to win him the entire round. Goddamn! 
hit that uh, normal a little bit too high up to allow her to follow it. Not blocking low against Enkidu. That is a mistake. It's a little mistimed. He could have eaten shit for that. I mean, you whiff anything with Enkidu. Oh, no. That was a bad idea. Yikes. 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 <laughs> that was that was some really bad decision making right there by the Nanase. Did the same thing round start. I guess it did work the first time. You can confirm off of that, off of the counter hit stomp or smash, I don't fucking know. Oh my goodness. Block, ooh, got caught low again. You gotta block your toes. And Kido's only overheads are charged. So you should not just snap, start blocking high. Oh no. She should have died for that, actually. Oh, mistimed it. That can be his charge 2C combos can actually be pretty damn tricky um, to time correctly. They are very awkward. I'm actually surprised she blocked me, to be honest. Both in a recovery sense and just in a how we've seen this person play sense. We had DPs in this game. Very, uh, very scary to go for. Definitely not something you should lean on at all. Because, like, the risk reward is so heavily in favor of. Um, the person not DP. Wow, that confirmed. I feel like even the user Riha was a bit surprised by it, given that there wasn't any continued follow-up. Getting that grid advantage, I dig it. If Biaki is just gonna run away, fuck it. Get your resources. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> Not like this. This match is already basically over. Okay, I agree with the veil off. Oh shit. Ooh. How big of a follow up did she get off this? I probably could have kept going, but went for the reset and it worked out. Yeah, he can't do anything off that. He didn't have any meter, and he Yaki does not have any native reversals. Honestly, even if he did have meter, I don't think it would have caught what Yuzuriha was doing. Because as far as I'm aware, his only invulnerable reversal outside of, obviously, um, Infinite Worth. I think everybody's Infinite Worth and Infinite Worth EXS are all invulnerable. Uh, but regardless, I think his, own, I think his like, that kind of slide-esque super that he has, it's not really a slide. It almost looks more like a command dash. That thing. I think that's the only one that has invulnerability, but it has a very low hitbox to it, so Yuzuriha may have been above that potential. Good, good, good awareness. He whipped the button. Dropped his combo, gave her a free punish. I thought she was gonna get a whip punish for that. That, see? Unfortunately, like, both him and Seth, it's kind of unfortunate when you're dealing with moves like that, where it's like, they have invulnerability, so you have to bait them out. You have to be aware of them, you have to be concerned about them so that you don't get popped by it and just hand over momentum to the other player. That's a rather bad look. But the only way to really deal with them well is to make them whiff. But then you do that, and all of a sudden they're on the other side of the screen, and you can't punish it. It, it just kind of sucks. Oh, wow, yeah. That's unfortunate. That just sucks. Like, you start the veil off and the person chain shifts and you're just like, Well, <laughs> they know exactly what I'm doing. There's nothing I can do to stop this. I'm dead. And she even had to prolong it. Because at least you go for the hope, right? Like, maybe they're going to think that I'm not going to hold it. Just pray. Obviously, it didn't work out. Oh. Uh, 
fuck it. Maybe we'll be surprised, right? Maybe we'll be surprised. We might actually be 62% win rate. There's every single time I see a Volstein color, it, it, all of his colors are so goddamn good. Like kudos to whoever developed all of his color palettes. Like they're all they're all good. I have never seen a bad Volstein palette. Well, the pure gold one's pretty frustrating to see. <laughs> Aside from that one, all of his color palettes are godlike. The yellow, gold, whatever the fuck color that is. Oh dear. If he had delayed that a little bit, he would have gotten a huge combo off that. Ooh, good. Nice assault. Didn't have confidence in it. Didn't follow it up. Oh dear. That was a very funky throw tech, but he didn't die for it. He could have. This is Waldstein. That could have gone very wrong very quickly. Good blocks of the overhead, this dude's. Got good defense. He had too far away to uh, do it. Well, I shouldn't say too far away. Off of that, he can't really get... Unless you're airborne, he doesn't really get anything off of that little kind of slappish move. This Wagner is very, very frightened of throws. I mean, obviously, you need to be concerned about them, but like, I feel like every single time Vald gets even moderately close, she tries to throw tech. He just gets counter hit. Oh, no. Oh. This Vald, once he actually starts being more aware about the game and gets better with the character, like starts confirming all these random hits, he's gonna be a scary dude. Right now, he needs some work. Wagner needs to use her power-ups more often, too. And that's why. If she had her sword power-up right there, that would have been safe. You, you can't really do that without some... Oh, the throw tech! She could have gotten a huge combo punish off of that. She may have actually even been able to kill? I'm not sure. Oh, dear lord, what is happening? Why exactly did something just start auto-playing that's been sitting passive for about 20 minutes? <laughs> oh, God damn it! the blood trainer. All right, close your eyes. Close your eyes again. I need to see. Nope, we're not watching it. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here's a lot of points. I refuse to watch this man who has abandoned the boy in Kidu in favor of goddamn Biakia win matches. Oh, damn. Uh, this is a bad start for Mika. Wow, that actually hit. I thought she'd fuck that up. Active frames, by the way. Holy shit! No way. Yes way. She's so dead. Holy shit! I wish I could go back to see what that combo started with. That was fucked up damage. Oh. <laughs> Good thing she dropped that combo. Okay, here we go. Mika finally gets a chance to play. Mika's no longer gonna get to play. Oh no, she was scared of the overhead and wasn't really paying attention. She tried to do the force function, I respect the attempt. It probably would have worked if Mika had not come downward so quickly. Uh oh. 
no. Oh my goodness. Phonon's defense is broken. She's done. It's over. Dear God, who even knows what Mika's doing right now? Jesus. It was really good offense right there. Oh no. The one time Phonon decided not to force function. Good block. Didn't get the punt. It was too high up in the air to get a punish, though. That's unfortunate. Drops the combo. Oh, no. Oh, man. That was a really good combo conversion, actually. I've never seen... Fo I mean, honestly, I probably haven't seen 90% of this cast alpha counters. Low, why would you stand up from that distance? Yikes. That Phonon's defense definitely just completely fell apart. I shouldn't really say her defense fell apart. We never really saw it. Because the first round, she just got a perfect. So I guess it's difficult to say her defense fell apart. It might have just been more that she doesn't have defense at all. <laughs> I guess we can take this one. I do kind of want to watch, like, uh, oh. Oh. Alright, I'm down. Like I said, man. Colored squares. Not terribly indicative of anything special. But they're not a guarantee by any means. Cause it kinda, it, it's kind of difficult, obviously, with anything other than, like, tournament standing kind of stuff. Where you know competition's actually good and all that stuff. Like, nothing is really terribly pointing toward a character, uh, person's actual quality as a player, right? How many points do they have? Maybe they boosted to get there. Maybe they have a really low amount of points, but they just don't play online that often and they're potentially godlike. Their win rate, same kind of thing with the points. If it's really good, maybe they maybe they boosted to get there, right? Or if maybe it's really bad, but it's because they only like seek out people that are good enough to beat them and they lose a ton to like two players and they beat everybody else, but they play those two players so often that their win rate gets tanked. Stuff like that. Like it's all so difficult to actually tell how good or bad a player actually is. But right now this Carmine's getting fucked up. So I apologize for playing this replay. Alright, gets the command grab. It's a start. This is Carmine. Got him. Dropped it. I don't think... Can she kill from this? Oh, she can't even follow that up at all. Alright, well definitely not when she can't even follow that move up. I'll be perfectly honest with you, I don't know if I've ever seen that move before. Oh no. Is it? Holy good god, it's Carmine. He showed up to play. That one last little combo, he showed the hell up. God, you just cannot give characters a chance in this game. It's both fantastic and bad. Right, like, when you see stuff like that, it's so awesome to see, and it's so good. Like, oh man, they actually managed to bring it back, I can't believe they won the round, that's amazing. On the other hand, being on the wrong side of that is not a good time. Damn, did it twice, the disrespect! Oh, she whipped it! Oh, that mad safe. Carmine was just as unaware as I was right there. That didn't seem... I mean, it's a dive kick. Dive kicks are just the types of moves that it's like, this move should not be safe. If this were a fair and just world, <laughs> that move would not be safe. But for some reason, it just is. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Toda 1984. This is gonna be painful. Ori's definitely one of the kind of characters uh, that 
if you're not good on a fundamental level, she's going to just run through you. Because she is a very fundamental character. Like, she doesn't really have anything incredibly tricky. She does have some shenanigans with, um, her aerial special moves. What the hell? That thingy. She can do some pretty dirty left-right mix-ups off of that. Didn't have enough meter. Ran out of time to be able to cancel that into the infinite work. But yeah, um... She is just a very strong fundamental character, and that kind of character is going... I mean, it's just like fighting against Jin in Blaze Blue, or fighting against Kai. They are very, very strong on the most basic level possible. And so if you are not solid on the basics yourself and the person using that character is, they're going to abuse you. That shit, that shit is fucked up. Tell me that isn't fucked up. Like, could you imagine? Like, I, I just mentioned those characters like... Oh, actually, now that I've mentioned that... I was just thinking, like, could you imagine if Jin had something like that, or Kai? Jin does have something like that, his instant air dash JD cross-up setups? Jesus! Oh, 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 get bitch slapped out of a round, Ori! You done! Oh no, that's a bad round start. We about to raise that win percentage to 41, let's go! I think what we actually saw was their current win rate. I don't know. I don't know how that shit works. No, it's if it's on their profile. The round start stuff is what it was when the game, when the match was played. Just gets caught by the 5B? Nice chain shift. She's dead. Oh no. Oh dear. Don't tell me. Good DP, but it just, it, it, it hit. It missed the original hit, so she didn't get, nice! I dig it. Um, if Ori was just a little bit lower, she would have gotten hit by the very first hit and would have died from that, but because she was so high up, she only got hit by the top parts of it. Still really good. Good job. Ooh. That's a lot of points. For, all right, let me just check and see. I feel like I'm getting into territory. I'll just take this, because I feel like I'm getting into the territory of, like, I, we may have seen these. I should probably keep a record of when the last time I did, like, the last date uh, that I did these replay theaters on so I don't wind up accidentally picking the same ones. Good Grim Reaper. He has a shit ton of grid here too. Oh no. Oh okay, I was gonna say that works. And it did hit, so I guess it does work, but not like I thought it was going to. Only real reversal she has. Had to go for it. She's gotta be scared of the Grim Reaper though. If he lands it, she is dead. Oh, I cannot believe. I thought he was waiting for it. What? Oh, cut the back dash! Didn't even need multiple hits of it. Just one hit was enough to finish. I feel like this match is over. Like right now. It's not anymore that she landed uh, the counter. But just round start, dash up about half a screen, and command grab her? That's a bad look. Oh no, she got caught by meaty 2 2 a Good block. She's just dead. That's just it right there. Oh my god, he even goes for the style at the end. Puts the exclamation point on the round. Takes it right at 30 minutes.